We will stay in the heavyweight division for the next bout, scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Standing on my right and fighting out of the black corner, he is a mixed martial artist and became a combat sambo world champion last year. As a kickboxer, two wins with one loss, one of those wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet, one inch tall, 1.85 meters, he weighed in at an even 216 pounds, 98 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Moldavia, here is Ian Tabasiano. His opponent fighting out of the white corner, a two-time world champion and Abu Dhabi heavyweight champion. His professional record, 14 wins with just one loss, six of those wins coming by way of knockout. Standing six feet, six inches tall, and even two meters, he weighed in at an even 246 pounds, 111.7 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Utrecht, the Netherlands, here is the judge, Levy Richter. And your referee for this contest is Jan Frana. Chickens. Okay, listen to my comments, follow the rules. Good luck. Back to the corners. Here we go, Antonio. You can see the size difference, the height difference, the reach difference. Let's see what Ion Tabrisiano can do against the Giants. I wonder how the fight will look because right now Richter is looking like, like much more powerful, much better heavyweight. Yep. I'm, for me, Richter's is all about his low kick, so I want to see how Tabrisiano can handle those Richter's low kicks. You can already see the Richter's doing damage with them, literally throwing like a ball Tabrisiano over the ring. Hey! Stop! Here you can see the power of Richter's over Tabersiano, but right now Tabersiano doesn't look like he's just here to lose, he's here to fight. And what Tabersiano needs to do is be careful of those fighting on those feints. But he's quick, he's trying to get in there with his hands, but those knees up the middle with those kicks of Richter's is going to make it very difficult for him to work his way in. Richter's is now a little bit too big for him. Yes, that's what I think too much power, especially in those legs. I think Tabersiano needs to find some shot on Ritter's chin to make him probably a little bit scared of him because this way he's just going to manhandle him. Yeah, I mean, that leg's already hurt. And what I always say with Richter is his timing of the low kick is beautiful. He hits it off of the jab. He'll push you off and kick it. He catches you when you're moving around the ring. He's a low kick specialist. And yeah. as a heavyweight, I love to see that. He is low kick through guy his best weapon is a low kick and he already won a few fights of it yeah and by the looks of it he's gonna win also this fight yep one of my favorite heavyweights was Ernesto Hust so the way he uses the low kicks and you can see already Tapasiano is already favoring it he's on one leg and Richter's get the finish nice and early stop what? this is gonna be a quick finish for Richter's he already damaged Four. his leg very much. Five. And Dion is looking Six. like he's just gonna quit. Seven. And doesn't need any more Eight. of this. Yeah, I don't think Ready. he might Nine. even come out. out. And it's done. Let Richter does easy work to Eon Tabersiano, but big credit to Tabersiano. As we mentioned, taking it on a few hours notice, he does look like a lighter fighter, so congratulations for stepping up, but Lenny Richter's low kick specialist gets it done. My hat's off to Tarbesiano because he accepted the fight the same day he knew about it, except that he immediately came and wanted to fight. Even he's lighter, even he's smaller, and against a good headway. So my hat's off for him. He got a really big ball. Yeah, I agree. I would have to say that's an accurate fact, and don't even though I've never seen him. <laughs> But the way he came forward, the timing of his low kicks, it's just something special from a heavyweight. Yeah, we're just seeing the best, the best of Richter's timing of his low kick and his best weapon. Just going through, chopping a tree. Like you said, Ernesto Hus type of heavyweight. Bam, 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 boom, low kick, and you go down. The, time, the timing was perfect. 
A lot oh. of respect there from the judge, Levy Richters, but the official decision, we come back next. Oh, we can see here the lady showing the respect for the Eon. Crazy. Eon, uh, my tips are for the... Ladies and gentlemen, once again, our referee, Jan Frana, has stepped in and called a halt to this contest with an official time of 1 minute 55 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by knockout, Levy Richter! I'm here with your winner, Levy Richters. I mean, you were expected to fight someone else. You took a fight on last minute notice. Give me your thoughts on this fight. Yeah, first of all, I want to thank him. He took the fight on like five hours notice. So he's the real winner tonight. Yeah, round of applause for him. And yeah, for me, it was, it was a roller coaster because, uh, you know, I should fight uh, Martin, but he canceled the fight because of an injury. So first, I didn't have a fight, and then he came up. So I'm happy I'm, uh, I'm back. And you're able to showcase your legendary low kicks there. They're becoming a big weapon there. How did you feel about the strategy and the game plan? Yeah, it was a year ago since my last fight, so I had, to, had, a, had a moment to come in the fight. But the low kicks, you know, we train on them. It's a good weapon of mine, so it worked again. I'm sure it felt good to get a little bit of that rust off after one year, but this puts you in now to the Glory Grand Prix Tournament. Give me your thoughts on entering the tournament now. Yeah, really happy. It's a big, big chance, big opportunity. Um, like the old days, K1, three fights in a night will be the first time for me, but I'm, uh, I'm happy I'm in. I'm sure winning that $500,000 will change yours and your family's life. Of course, it's all for the kids now. All right, let's hear it for your winner, Levy the Judge Richters.